Now I'm going to be using the multiply method for this question, but you might have a different method and if it's working, stick with it. Okay, so to use the multiply method, we need to work out what we're doing. So we're increasing by 1.6% because it's a savings account. And if your money goes down in a savings account, you wouldn't be happy with it. So to use the multiply method, you start off with 100%. You do what um, the percentage, or you add or take away the percentage, depending on the question. Here we're adding, because it's going up by 1.6%. And we're going to end up with 101.6%. Then you work that out as a multiplier. And to do that, all you do is you divide by 100. And all you're doing is converting it to a decimal. Multiplier is just a posh way of saying decimal. Okay, this is now our multiplier. Now, whenever I time something by this number, the 1.016, it will increase it by 1.6%. So we've got £2,400. And if I just had one year, I would times it by the multiplier and it would work out what it is after the second year. But we've got seven years. So what we could do is times it by 1.016 seven times. But I can't be bothered to do that because we know something better in maths. What we can do instead is do that multiply to the power of 7. And that's just the same way as just timesing it by 1.016 7 times. And it's a bit easier to do. So 2,400 on the calculator times 1.016. And then I put my power button and I type in 7. And I get the answer 2,682. 0 0.0520 blah 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 okay so because it's a money question it can only have two decimal places so 2682.05 now the last step is really just to check that that makes sense well we're in a savings account for seven years we've put in 2400 pounds and we've got out after seven years 2682 roughly so 2600 so we've made 200 pounds now the interest rate, the 1.6% is quite a low interest rate, so we wouldn't expect very much money. So about £200 is about right. So you can always just check your answer to see if it makes sense. If you ended up with less money at the end, then alarm bells are ringing.